The Institute of Medicine estimates that unintentional errors in the healthcare system may cause as many as 98,000 deaths per year, making this the eighth leading cause of death in the United States. The Institute of Medicine has also identified medication errors as the single most common type of error in healthcare, representing 20% of all errors and accounting for 7,000 deaths annually. Subsequent reviews have estimated that 1.5 million preventable adverse drug events occur in the U.S. each year, with hospitalized patients suffering a large percentage of these events. Critical care environments present unique challenges with regard to medication errors. Patients in these areas tend to be dynamic, and they require rapid and frequent adaptation of management strategies. The frequency of medication errors in adult ICUs can be as high as 947 per 1,000 patient days, so nearly one error per patient day. Not only are medication errors more common in the ICU, but they also tend to be more severe and to cause harm. Patients in these areas tend to be sicker, they're older, they have more comorbidities, and they may be less resilient to complications from medication errors. These patients also receive more medications, which leaves them at greater risk of iatrogenic harm. Errors can occur at any stage of the medication use process. Examining the points at which medication errors occur along the continuum of the medication use process allows for systematic analysis and identification of areas for improvement. The administration phase may be the most vulnerable to error, as it is the last step in the process before the patient actually receives the medication. Errors associated with this node are not likely to be caught by other members of the healthcare team. A multimodal approach to error prevention, identification, and intervention that includes optimization of drug product design may be particularly helpful for mitigating errors that occur at the administration node. Each route of administration presents unique challenges with regard to drug formulation. However, errors associated with medication appearance occur among all drug formulations and routes of administration. The Institute of Medicine has made a variety of recommendations regarding medication formulation and labeling to help address these errors universally. Technological advancements such as computerized provider order entry, decision support software, and barcode medication administration are being used globally to help prevent errors, though these technologies have their own limitations. Education that includes simulation has been shown to improve technical skills and facilitates clinical decision making, which may reduce medication errors. Promotion of a safety culture that encourages reporting of errors in a non-punitive fashion is essential to error identification and evaluation. Every critical care environment is unique, and so it is important for institutions to perform failure modes and effects analyses to determine sources of medication errors and to individualize the strategy for error mitigation to meet the needs of the unit, the staff, and the patients. A multimodal approach can then be implemented and evaluated to achieve optimal results.